Hello, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire. So last time, we did quite a bit. We liberated a big Bulgarian boy. We forced Austria to give back, uh, basically, Venice and Venetia to Italy, and we took another port over here in China. Lots of fun. Uh, let's see. There's a couple comments I want to address from yesterday's video, but I want to double-check first. When can we go to war with them again? So we can go to war with the Qing Empire. 1898 and we can go to war with the Ottomans probably by 1898 as well there's they we still have the free Balkans cast bail against them 1899 so we got about three years so let's let time go on and I'm probably gonna be forced to pull out of here just because I can't really afford a war with the UK yet without any stronger allies Ooh, Transvaal has Naguni Patriots cool so the first comment is uh yeah I do have a Serbian army or army in Serbia still there but they're already moving, so thank you for being aware of where my armies might be placed. Secondly, um, future campaigns. This is my first campaign with HPM. Ooh, that does not look good. So, it is what it is. Uh, but, future campaigns, I definitely want to do more things. Maybe try some other mods as well. Continue with HPM, maybe try HFM sometime. Maybe, what was it, The Verge of Darkness or something like that as well. So, the Italian Nationalization Program. Oh, basically they're nationalizing the stuff we've built in there. Relation. We can nationalize factories until... Well, it's, we're, we're, we're going to lose prestige anyways. Hmm. The rich strata. Uh, what's it really... Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to piss off my rich people because I want to keep Italy for now as an ally. That's going to be important for me. Just because they might do well against Austria, which they did earlier. Maybe France, maybe Spain even. So, it's good to have allies. Especially, like the Japanese, so we don't have to focus on them too much. Or even the Americans, who might piss off the British sometime. And Austria is, of course, demobilizing the race for fertilizers. Good. Sulfur. I love sulfur. Let's get some forts in Alaska, even though we don't own all of it, you stupid Canadians. But that's okay, I love Canadians. I love the Canadian people. And, oh, oh, what's this? Nothing socialists. But, here's my goal. Right now, we're going to work on lowering our infamy. We are going to hopefully get some more money sometime. So we can, you know, make sure that we're doing okay, budget-wise. I am still trying to, of course, buy up more stockpiles of stuff. I am buying a lot of goods. So that, that kind of makes sense why we don't have a lot of money, but still. Mm, that's okay. And now we're making some decent bank. And also, I upgraded the ports last time, so that's good. Ooh, that's not good. Like, I trade Britain, like, one of these for the other one. Like, come on, man. It's not cool. But I think they're probably going to get both until we really want to beat them up. So, uh, yeah. But Bavaria always wants to ally me. <sighs> Their secondary power. I really need Prussia to do something about this. But like we discovered yesterday, Sphere of Influence. They just need a few states. Lubeck, them over there, Anhalt, whatever that is, whatever that is, you know. Just Prussian things. Hey, look at this one. Communists? Oh no. I'll go ahead and do that, that's good. Oh, you definitely guys, you de guys definitely need to rest up. Yeah, definitely don't want to push these guys too hard. Oh, they're Oh. Oh, and I'm building an army down here too. That's actually kinda nice. That's good. Yeah, I wish we could have, like, negotiations where I could just, like, trade one of these for the other one. I'd much prefer Wadai. Organizing Kazakhstan. Nice. Very good. Prospector strikes coal. I love coal. Oh, Italy entered a military alliance with Prussia. We've tried this before, once, earlier in this campaign. It didn't go so well for us. And we have Raider Group Doctrine. Oh! We actually lost... Oh, that makes sense. We lost a battle there. That makes sense. Uh, well, let's rest our, our guys a little bit. Let's get them some more strength before we, they attack again. And do that. So, uh, Industry, Mechanized, High Pressure Steam Engine. Someone recommend that we do this? Oh, yeah, let's do it anyways. It doesn't take that long for us to do it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you guys definitely need to rest up. Holy cow. 
Make no distinction of class. Uh, losing the race and will die. Hmm. An admiral has died. So be it. So be it. Oh, communists. Oh, communists. Before we go on, check national focuses. Over here, they're doing well. Let's see. Chloric saying Kharkov. 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 1.2%. We can maybe get... Mm, we can probably get rid of that. They're doing well. They're doing well. They're doing well. And... Is it Haiti? Hispaniola? Eh, it's not doing too bad. We're getting better. Population-wise... Oh, actually, that's like a production. Where do we have the most factories? Oh, Kharkov. Kharkov. That's actually really good then. Uh, I can put on one. Definitely want more machine parts. I like the capitalists. Good, good, good. Uh, West Galicia. Actually, I don't think I put any guys there yet. Let's go to West Galicia. They have the most factories, clerks. Well, I can put the clerks in there too. And then actually, we get some craftsmen sometime too. Uh, great powers. The Dutch, Jesus, they just love taking out over other people. Japan, yeah. Everyone but Austria really likes us. And that's an op and that's a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. Alright, so you guys should be able to take these guys out now. Should be strong enough. Half of the people in Sinteng are Russian. Oh, that's beautiful. That's great. And we did it. Let's go and do that. Nice. More output. Great. Oh, assembly line. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I gotta do that. That'll last probably about five years, so then we can do, um... So we can get, uh... Military directionism. Oh, and then... Oh, yeah. Then we're gonna get gassy. We're gonna get gassy. I really don't want to lose this. But I do have a cup of Russian Earl Grey tea here. Hmm. Good stuff. Brazil, yes. Yes. Ooh, more oil, yes. Population-wise, our Russian Empire currently has a population of 129, almost 130 million people. Look at that population growth. Holy cow. We get about 1,000 people a day. That is insane. Oh, and? Ah, 130 million people in our empire. Isn't it great? And less than half the population is... Uh, well, Russian. Rebellion in our ally. The Greek government has been toppled. Oh, what, what type of flag is that? Oh, they can turn... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, they cannot turn communist. I do not agree with that. Oh, but can I even get down there? I might not be able to. Eh, I might be able to for some armies. If I can get military access through you guys... No, I didn't think they would. Let us. I didn't think they'd let us do that. Oh... They're not worth it. Gain infamy. Add to sphere. Cut down. All pops to support. You know, I'm going to do it. Greek nationalization program. We respect Greek sovereignty? No. Yeah, no. Uh, let's see. So when do we have... When does that expire? About February. I don't want to go to war. It did cost us one infamy, but whatever. What? Oh, Oman. Why do we have Oman and El Salvador? I don't remember asking them or telling them to do that. Let's see. Oman. El Salvador. Greece. Why? Why did you flip communists? Actually, you know what? Ooh. Yeah. I guess I missed a naval base. I guess I missed several naval bases. Maybe they were already expanding. That's probably why. Actually, you know what? Just do that. And you do one as well. Take one off of... You can do that. That's fine. And then do that. There you go. And let's get another army up here. Will this navy actually do okay against enemies? It might. It might not. Throw an iron clatter to... Uh, yeah. Let's try that. I'll actually build one. Oh, maybe, hmm, maybe do that. Ah, uh, god dang, just with rock. I, I really don't care for the UK. The UK needs to be taken out. Yeah, and they, what the heck, they immediately get Chad? Oh, come on. 
Russia and Africa doesn't look that great, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, look at that. They got militant socialists there. Nice. Austria has Bavaria. They have Lubeck. Which is okay. Oh, look. A quarter of the population is Russian. I love it. And I forgot about Russian Africa down here. But we have it. And I love it. Oh, yeah. Come, my people. Come to Africa. It's a great place. Besides all the diseases and people and good times. It's good times, my friends. Wow, we can see a lot of this area. Enforce the Russian curricula. Lithuanian martyr. Execute him. Because that will never have any repercussions, right? Actually, what type of ships do they have down there? Oh, they're just transports. That's good. And also, don't want to forget, we're still making another army. There you go. Nice army. Very nice. So we have two, two armies really down here. I'm not too worried about the Swedes. We're probably going to need another one for Austria. So come up there. So we have one horse boy there. What else could we use? In here. So it's one horse boy, so we need about nine. Or one, two, three. That'll be good for that. Get a horse. No, we already have a horse. What am I saying? What am I saying? Uh, get an engineer. And then get up to 19. There we go. Nice. Another, ar another army. Uh, Portugal, you want an alliance, huh? Sure, why not? That sounds like fun. Chartist rallies. Russian Chartist Club calling for the extension of voting privileges to broader strata of the voting publicum. While calm and relatively orderly on the surface, the rally might get out of hand at any time. Police are standing by, ready to intervene, and some are even seeming eager to do so. You can let them hold their little rally. Ooh. That might be for the best. Cool. Let's raise this. As well as the naval stuff, which is going to cost a little bit of money. So, maybe raise it just a tiny bit. Hmm. Heroland. Very nice. Can you imagine? Like, I'm just thinking with a budget. Like, one day you're paying a certain amount of taxes. The literal next day, you pay, like, 100% taxes. And just every day, you have a different tax rate. So, you have no idea how much taxes you actually owe. That's just... That'd be crazy if someone actually did stuff like that, which might have happened in history, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I might. For now, we could increase relations with the Dutch. I don't think... I kind of want to take them out as well, but we'll see what happens. Oh, German pro-nationalists or pan-nationalists. Bavaria? Hmm. All the number nine. Spain? Let's keep good relations with you as well. Excellent. Excellent, my friends. With 70% of our population can read. I love it. Let's make sure this is high. Communist propaganda. Crack down on this menace. Um, let them talk. Yeah, let's crack down. Nice, more attack. Awesome. Awesome. Actually, we're going to get somebody like... Oh, what the heck just happened here? Piedmont reactionaries. Why would you want that? Why do you want to go back to the Piedmont? Italy as a whole, united, is stronger than Piedmont. But whatever. Alright. Disarm and pay reparations. Um, we get prestige. What do we want? Do we want more money or add to sphere? Hmm. Just want to add to our sphere, kind of, probably. I don't need to call it my allies. We'll be fine. I say that, but you never know. And I'm going to have to get another army to do my bidding here. Even though they don't really have an army here, which is good. Good. Smash them. Find their ships and smash them. There you go. Nice. Good. Ah, nice. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Commerce, we're doing pretty well. Let's get some market structure. Output efficiency. Banks. Let's make sure we have a better army first. Because right now, even though I've said it quite a bit in the past, that we weren't making that much money, right now we are. And we do have a little bit of a buffer zone with 7.9 uh, million pounds in reserve, so. Nice. Just keep cracking them down. Communists, right? We can allow this to spread. Good. Oh, we're pissing off the communists a lot, and they're going to rebel eventually. Which is fine. You know, things happen. Good. <clears throat> Just casually going to war, my friends. Casually going to war. How many engineers do we have on this army? Mm, 
None. Oh, we have one. Two. Oh, we have two. Nice. Makes it really easy to, you know, upgrade stuff. Or take stuff. Civil violence. Intervene eventually. Uh, eventually. Um, Fissa. So I did tap over, actually. Between this episode and the last. And I noticed that Greece still has the Megali ideas. You know, they're still... Really, man? Really? They still have the Megali decision they could take. Oh, is China and Qing China at war with each other? Uh, yes. Actually, you're still uncivilized. I'm going to say no to you. I want you to struggle a little bit more so that they just don't come rampaging through my lands. Uh, suppress it. And right now, I'm going to keep the budget high for military stuff just because... Well... Just in case. Because they're going to need it. Go ahead, let everyone in Poland move around and cr crush them as much as possible. You know, I would say that this is not bad if you want to get more army XP. But this is in Hearts of Iron 4, so it is what it is. And I wish I could change the party government here, but whatever. Tensions in the Oh, you know what? Sure. Of course not. <clears throat> very nice, very nice. I, I did move the little rally point here. Nice. And we have better artillery. Oh, we lost the battle, too. Military logistics sounds pretty good to me. Uh, oh, we probably lost it down here, maybe. Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Uh, what about Africa? Africa's looking pretty darn swanky, not going to lie. Ooh. Nine, nine. Get one more... Infantry, one more artillery, that'd be great. Do we have engineers? No, but that's okay. You know what, that's not okay. Ibo. Ibu. Very nice, very nice. Any F? No? No rebellions down in Africa? Thank God, I don't want to go down there. You guys, uh, well, don't dock important yet. Just wait for these guys to get over there. Ah, <sighs> good. Of course not. Tensions in Bessarabia? What? There's no tensions there. What are you talking about? You crazy... Or Lithuania. Come on. Everyone loves being in the Russian Empire, whether they like it or not. They got a lot of terrorist cells in... I don't like how social they are, so you know what? Uh, we're going to turn the first Olympic Games, first of all. And from this, we're going to go ahead and... This really doesn't do much for you, really. Uh, conservative, reactionary, socialist, communist, liberal... I just, I guess go conservative, I don't know. I'll try that. Hmm. The, the forts, forts are nice. Ooh, we'll output, very cool, very cool. Kriggs, cool. Oh boy, oh boy, what's going on here? Austria, Württemberg, Prussian, Br Austria. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, Austria, Prussia, Prussia. Please call me in. <clears throat> Please call me in for this if you want to do well. I can't even justify on them. I have a truce with them, so... They're winning in... Oh, no, 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 no. Prussia, we've worked too hard for you to do this. We've worked way too hard. You have to win this, man. You can. They could probably take out the, uh, the Dutch fairly easily, which would be nice. Well, I don't know. Maybe they'll win. Maybe they'll win. 118. Yeah, their military score is better than Austria, which is good. Let's see what happens. This might be the end of Austria if Prussia can do well. Oh, what's going on? Mobilizing... And, yeah. Oh! Oh, they demand Formosa. That's not bad. Oh, make sure we keep good relations with these guys. Oh, we're not... Allied. Ooh. Wow, they just lost quite a few guys. What? What? <clears throat> yeah, I, I like an alliance. Just because I don't come in your wars doesn't mean we don't want an alliance, you know? You know? Cool. Let's go and lower this stuff. Keep construction high. I need to build, 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 build. 
Look how many ships we have here. Yeah, these light ships, they're not great. Uh, oh, we weren't allied. Oh, okay. oh, whatever. Oh, now people are piecing out with the Prussians, which is good Russian patriots. We must free our brethren, yes. Very much yes. Uh, purchase civilized, great. It looks like Prussia's gonna do pretty well, especially once they knock out the Dutch. This is, I'm a little surprised that they didn't call me in. Because we. Oh, I guess maybe not, just because that might provoke other people to ally the Austrians, but then again, they aren't really allied with other people, so. This is just. This looks like a giant flipping mess, to be honest with you. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. I'm preparing ourselves for war. Once the 20th century hits. Chamber of Commerce protests. Some slight adjustments? Oh, I don't mind them becoming a little bit more liberal. That actually is kind of nice. Afghanistan. Afghanistan should have it under control. And without me going to war, we can lower our infamy. Make a lot of money. Have a good time. Build some forts. Ooh. Bahrain? What would the purpose of that be? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Brush has on halt. Oh, Egypt is looking... Egypt, they got some communists. They got Sudan there. Dutch, Ethiopia. Ugh. British India is looking pretty red. Prussia says, admit hegemony, dismantle constructions in Holland. What the heck? Is that all you got? So we should see, maybe eventually, a bigger Prussia or North German Federation. All they need is Weimar now. <laughs> I could be a total jerk and uh, just take it for me. Um, this is going to hurt my prestige in the future, but I'm going to do it anyways, just so that we can see what everyone wants to do. So we see the Prussian military, the Austrian military, the Italian military, and the French military. I feel like I'm Italy right before World War One, saying, whose side do I want to join? <laughs> uh, glory to the youth of our nation. I love our nation. I love our athletes. Yucatan, what the heck? Do we have so much influence that just randomly being assigned to other places? I think so. Ah, uh, I love it. Tensions dissipate, great. Look at that big ol' army. Put down any commies or socialists or conservatives or reactionary folks that rise up. Can I do anything here? I mean, we got coffee, or yeah, and I love it. First to the pole! The Royal Geographic Society's announced that an award will be presented to the first expedition that reaches the North Pole. We should absolutely outfit an expedition. Nationalists in my Russian Empire, the only nas nation that you should really like is ours. Actually, officer wise, maybe we should get more officers. Uh, yeah, I want to just raise that for now, just so that they have a little more money. We got, oh, oh, we fell on industrial power. That's not good. How do we do that? Who's <clears throat> fourth? All right, so f let's get some craftsmen here. Instead of uh, Armenia, whatever. Really start focusing on building up our uh, industry. Oh, look, they did it. They finally did it. It only took them until almost the ninth... 20th century to form the North German Fed. They didn't even form it with Lubeck. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Well, no wonder they're fourth. No, now that makes sense why we became fifth in the world. Because the Germans, well, they're being pretty Germanic. Hmm. Now they just need South Germans. Italy's looking. Something happened to Italy? They look a little more stretched out. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking of things. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I might be going crazy. Ah, comment cited. Ah. A colonized comet would make a fine satellite. I agree. I completely agree. Nice. This is, prepares us for the 20th century very nicely. Uh, let's improve this. We definitely need more ports. Oh, wait. Hold on. We should consider legislation to end this. Oh, wait. We, we still use child labor? Awesome. Oh, 1989. Oh, I, oh, I should have got that. Oh, I love railroads. We should really play a railroad simulator game someday. Guatemala's looking pretty mighty. What's America doing? Making bank? That's what they're probably doing. Making lots of bank. The professor criticizes the voting system. Uh, we can get more procedure. Yeah, I'll do that one. I don't want people to necessarily to vote. Oh, wait, we can go to war with Ching China. Ooh. They're still uncivilized. Punitive expedition. Because everything else costs too much except for demand concession, which we would only get this part. 
I prefer a port. Oh. I'm about to do that. Yeah, I kind of prefer getting another port. Just because we could. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. And excuse me, but... Oh, that's not good. I will be back in just one moment. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to do, do that, but uh, I was feeling feeling just a little bit lightheaded, so... Whatever. I'm back. I'm feeling good. Let's continue improving ourselves. Ooh, and then we asked... Ooh, did we actually do that? Oh, we did. We did. We actually did get a naval base. Great, 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 great. Improve those naval bases so we can make bigger ships, which... Perhaps I should have done this before, just because we're behind in and navy, because we're still using frigates and man of wars, which probably isn't good to use coming into the or going into the 20th century. But you know what? You never know. Maybe it'll be perfect. Maybe everyone else has only put up frigates, man of wars, good stuff like that. Great, increase that. That'd be great. Oh my goodness, we actually have quite the Expansion in Asia. Not too much, not too much expansion. Mostly just called expanding into China, but that's okay. Nice. Good, 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 my friends. Actually, we're still doing that, that's good. And then we'll do the one against the Ottomans as well. Oh, forts? Yes, please. Do I have a naval base up here? Oh, I have an army down over here. I can't. Hell. Battle of Anchorage. Hmm. This is an Old World Blues. That'd be amazing if you had like an Old World Blues or Fallout mod for Victoria 2. Maybe they do. But that'd be that sounds amazing, honestly. Just to see how the population growing and taking over, over people. That would be wicked awesome. When's the last time I actually used the word wicked? What the heck is wrong with me? Oh! The Belgian Congo changed colors. You were so dark. And now. You're beige. A beige Belgium. The British are British. They still get Macron? Macron. I don't know. Oh, good. Oh, look at that Germans. I love the Germans over there. But just stay over there, Germans. Mmm, we need... Probably an infantry. That'd be nice. Ooh, and actually, going to war with China is going to go 1-2... One, one, two, my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna need another infantry, actually. Uh, build it in... There. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take you off and put you in Asia. Because China's gonna have a m even a bigger military than last time, probably. Uh, you know what, take, take another one off, too. There you go. I really don't like how brigades can just get destroyed and then you have to... They just don't exist anymore. Nice, nice. We can go to war by February next year. Oh, yeah. Crackdown on communists. They're probably going to rebel once I go to war. Honestly. Chartless rallies. That's fine. Become a little bit more liberal. Smallpox. Every life is precious until you're communist. Colonial discontent. We make no... An equitable solution, perhaps. Let's see. Yeah. They want to come there. So I'm going to put you right there. Please make those uh, armies. You definitely need two more artillery pieces. And you need three more infantry pieces. Hmm. Nice. Oh, we created a state here. I don't know. Is that really worth doing? Creating a state in colonial places? I mean, it frees up the colonial points. But other than that... Oh, do we get more migration, maybe? Let's see. Let's take a good look at Gabon. So right now, we're 31.5% 31, 31 Russian. Uh, it actually went down a little bit. Huh. Northwest Bantu Moscow Art Theater. The production style of Chekhov's... The Seagull has shown that the Moscow Art Theater is almost single-handedly taking the Russian theater into the 20th century. Perfect. Cool. We'll come back to Gabon and see... Actually, no, wait. We can... Oh, another naval base. Great. We can actually build stuff there. Oh, uh, I want to do this so badly, but we're going to... We only have, like, six months left before it's the 1900s. So, let's do something easy, like realism. I almost never go for these prestige techs. What RGOs do we actually have down here that we could build? Uh, not much. Sawmill? Sure. Kharkov. Kharkov needs craftsmen. Do we have anything else? Oh, forts. Forts are, forts are very nice. 
That is tropical. Oh, 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 that's rubber. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Hmm. We can make electric gears in there. We're going to need some coal, which we don't have. That's okay. Oh, I love rubber. I love it. Awesome. Nice. War repar- Wait, war reparations. Punitive expedition, that's good. Uh, great powers... Yeah, our industry, not great. Our military score is the best in the- second the best in the world. And we have the second most prestige, which is pretty good. Pretty darn awesome. Let's see, Austria, increase relation for now. Japan, do the same thing. Germans love us. We like the Germans. We don't love them, but we like them. We have a fairly good relationship with, relationship with them. Uh, they got anarchy bomb throws. I want to go to war with... Oh, let's see. Uh, ooh. Brazil. What are you doing? Brazil, my boy. Uh, I'm not fighting... No, I'm not fighting my America. Sorry, Brazil. Sorry. That's why you don't ally Russia. No, no, no. Nope, not doing it. That's not where you need to go. You actually should come over there. Actually, no, that's not where you need to go. Expedition returns without success. Let's do it again. Wave of colonial unrest. Situation will pass. Where did I need to put that extra army? It was in Europe, actually. Maybe it was actually in Europe. Uh, let's see. You need artillery, you need infantry, so... <sighs> yeah, we might as well put you there then. And this group needs artillery piece. Yep, good luck. I'm not going to do your bidding. Nice. Oh, look at how much more divisions we can make. Oh, look at the money we're not making. But we're kind of making money now, it's kind of nice. Infantry come here too. Gotta let our guys get over there. Sweden is doing what? Oh, allied with America. All right, well, whatever. That's good. Good for them. Go to Ukrainian guard. Uh, well, oh, oh rebels. Korean nationalists, nice. Let's go and take that off. Well, don't take it off yet, because we're going to watch that get constructed. And we'll go to war very soon. Our division, or brigade, should be over there very quickly. Well... Not quick enough, apparently. Jacobin Rebels. Tashkent. That's good. Look how pre oh, pretty well uh, experienced. Nice. 38%. Tensions in Uzbekia? Of course not. Of course not. Ah, nice. Uh, let's do. What's a tech we can do really quickly? Naval professionalism. Ah, oh, more colonial prestige. That's fine. Nice, and then we'll do military directionism after this. The first to the pole! We should outfit an expedition, my friends. Let's get that done, and then go to war with China, and then go back to war with the Ottomans. Are they allied with anyone? Uh, Netherlands, Spain, Romania. Try again. That's okay, we'll try it again. Can't be successful every time you do something for the first time. Nice. Stay there. Great. Alright, let's go to war. And actually, do we have unemployed people? What the heck? I don't want unemployed people. Oh, Gabon. It's just Africa. It's okay. All right, let's go do this real quick. Call allies. Let's see. Finland, Netherlands, North German Federation. Everyone will accept except Austria. Even if... Oh, my God. This is like going to be like the Boxer Rebellion. Oh, my God. Everyone just joined in pretty much. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, Just dig it. No, dig in. Dig in. You, you have a lot of Chinese guys coming at you, man. Go on. Dig the heck in. You guys go there. Oh, you guys are already down there. Nice. I don't remember telling you to do that, but oh, this army needed an artillery piece. Whatever. I could probably move you around too. Maybe going to Peking, something like that. Just keep an eye on what's going on over here. Let's see. Mongolia, yeah. Oh, Gretenberg? No, no. Good, good. Oh, new political party? Okay. Oh, wait, actually. What political parties do we have? We're pretty divided on everything. Westerner? That's not bad. Social Democratic? Cadets? That's not bad. Octoberists? Incas? Huh. Encourage Arab nationalism? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to encourage Arab nationalism. 
Return to Third Realm. Never did that. Integration to Finland. Whatever. It looks cool. Sounds cool. Maybe it's not for me, though. What was going on over here? Nice. Yeah, take that. Them peoples. Get down there. First of the pole. Wow, they they have a lot of people who wants to do that. I mean, I'm okay with that, but it's taking a while. Good. And with that done, you guys come there. Happy 1900, my friends. Hopefully this will be a great century for us. Let's hope so. Ooh, fighting in the mountains is probably a bad idea. Let's see what happens, though. Ah. Blood and Roses. I like this event. So, as the soldiers depart from the lodgings and barracks to go off, as young men want to do, uh, so to fight and bleed in the Great War. Their closed marching columns are saluted on their ways by women and children of all ages, standing along roadsides and on railway stations, sending them off with kisses and smiles and decorating their weapons with flowers. I'll uh, lose war exhaustion, more jingoism. Or just get more jingoism. War exhaustion right now is doing pretty flippin' awesome. Oh yeah, we just killed them all right there. That's nice. That's really nice. And we just killed them off. Great. Come there. And we do Influence Romania. Nice. Oh, look at that. Burn the... Oh. The Summer Palace. The old Summer Palace, known as, in Chinese as the Gardens of Perfect Brightness, was a complex gardens northwest of the imperial city of Beijing, China. The gardens were built in the 18th and early 19th centuries and functioned as a place of residence for the Qing or King Emperors. The old summer palace was burnt to the ground by Anglo-French forces during their occupation of Beijing during the Second Opium War. While the torching was a major blow to Chinese morale, it was also decried by many European intellectuals, Victor Hugo among others, as a criminal act of brutality directed against the Chinese. By burning this exquisite piece of Chinese cultural history, we can inflict a massive blow on Chinese morale. Oh, that's a lot of inf three infamy. Uh, uh, mm -mm, no, no, I'm, I'm, you know, we might not be great people. I mean, we are great people. Let's be real. We are really great people. But we're not evil people. I mean, that's that's evil. Like, no way, man. I am not going to burn it down just because we feel like it. I don't want them to come back and fight me in 100 years and saying we burned their capital down. And them to do that to us. So, let's be a little bit smart about this. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nice. That's not a big enough army. Uh, do we have enough? Oh, yeah. Good. Great. That was actually really great. Yeah, being at the Chinese, not too difficult when they're not uh, civilized. So I love it. I love it. You guys come up there. You have 61,000. You know what? That's the case. You're coming back down here. Bit of a port. Yeah, a lot of wool down there. I like it. A lot of wool. You guys go there. You guys come up there. You guys come right there. And I'm probably going to be missing an army here. Hmm. You three. I want you one right here. Get rid of you. And then one of you guys come right there, maybe. And one of you guys come back to Europe as well. Nice. Oh, so we want Ningbo, Hainan. We did it. We pretty much already figured out which we want last time. They probably took this over. Oh, yeah. They got rid of our progress with that. That sucks. That's okay, though. So, Ningbo is right there. Third of a million manpower. That's not bad. Oh! We can actually invest in China now. Interesting. Uh, that's not really worth it. Hainan is... I'm thinking Hainan. Let's get Hainan. Ooh. Oh, we can make a state down here too. Great. So. As much as I love that Hainan Treaty Port. The city of Zuya, Shore of Pearls, named for the famous pearl fisheries of the region, is now known as Kyongshan, is an important step or stop to Shanghai and Formosa. Controlling would give control over all of Hainan and would make an important coaling station. Coasting station. Coaling station. Yes. Oh, I love it. And let's keep an eye on this. Let's make sure we get our guys over to Europe so that... We, ooh, the first Boer War. Ooh. I don't know. At the same time I'm recording this, I'm playing as South Africa and Führerreich, so... Mm, I definitely have opinions over that. But let's get our guys over to... Europe and beat this nut out of a few Ottoman boys. Oh god, we had to get this gas, yes, gas, gas me. Don't gas me, I'm gonna gas you. Oh no, oh no, what's going on here? Uh... Oh, we're gonna be fighting the Austrians. The Friuli. Ooh, why is there so many French people here? We're fighting the Netherlands. The Dutch. Um, before I go to war. Italy, where's your army? 
Like, no joke, where is your army? Like, because we can do well against the Dutch, or even the uh, Austrians, but... Oh, I saw an army here? What the heck? Get out of there, guys. Uh, you know what? Sure. We already have our guys here. I'm gonna go rampaging. I'm gonna destroy the army first. Oh, that's a... Oh! Hello! Alright, well... You can probably just stay there and do that. Better pay their debts on from here on out. Good, good, good. No, we. I really want to kill off those guys down there. Take Vienna, maybe. See you down first. Um, can I call in other people? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Us in Italy versus Austria and them. Now, the Dutch. Yes. No, oh, there's a lot of st Dutch stuff there. We're probably gonna lose a little bit of that. That's okay though. Don't really care about it that much. That territory isn't worth a whole ton, so. Still expanding, very nice. Uh, do we have any other armies around here? You're coming down anyways. Yeah, we just slaughtered 65,000 of them. I love it. Actually, give both of you guys over here. We gotta smash these guys down here. Yeah. Just keep moving down south. That'd be important. Oh, Lemberg, nice. Oh, that's nice too. Germans have free reign in my territory? Yeah. Oh, the Italians were over in China because I called them in, and apparently Württemberg invented fascism, the third way. Wow, that is something. Good. Smash them if you can. Nice. Oh, that's oh, such a bad idea. No, get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, no! Yeah, I lost that battle. That was my bad. That was my mistake. The Tsardson falls ill. Uh, well, I I will be damned. Hmm, that was my fault for sending them in when they weren't ready. I'm gonna keep these guys pretty close by to each other. That'd be good. Uh, let's see. Doing a great job. We're gonna start sieging everything else down here. They can start sieging down Italy a little bit, but you know what? They're not gonna get that far. Oh, that's not good. So you're attacking me. Yeah, they're winning insanely. Holy cow. Yeah, this may be a bad war to join. Let's keep an eye on this over here. Do I have any other armies I could pull over? Probably. Let's see. You need an artillery piece. Great. Both of you come over here. War score, we're probably not... Eh, we're doing okay-ish. Oh, I have three... Oh my goodness, that's not good. Uh, pull these guys down. God dang it. How are they winning when we're defending? Yeah. What the heck? We are literally defending and they're winning so well against us. I mean, supply-wise, we're doing... Yeah, we're doing well in supplies, huh? Oh my god, Italy, get in the get in the battle, you morons! Get in the battle! No! I lost everyone there! Italy! You know what? That was a, such a bad mistake to join the war against these guys. The Italians should, should just die at this point. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, don't even attack. That's a dumb idea. I lost those guys because the AI is incompetent. Oh, I haven't learned my lesson yet, have I? Oh, don't do this, we shall make the attempt. Intervention? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Pull out, pull out if you can. Get in there, get in the battle. You can, you can still win this. Oh, good, slaughter them. We can probably. Oh, now that's good. That's good. That's revenge for earlier. Kill them off if you can. Oh my God, please. Oh, Romania's free, great. You got a little more infamy too. Come on. Oh, don't do that. Uh, definitely come up there. Do that. Get rid of these guys. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Well, the war score so far is 32%. That's not too bad. 
Oh, we're fourth in the world now. Uh, can we piece them out? Are we leader of this? No, I think the Italians are the leader. Baden? Huh. But this video's gone on long enough. We've done pretty well. Next episode, we will go to war with the Ottomans. We've hit the 20th century. We're doing okay. We made a mistake about joining the Italians in the war against Austrians, but whatever. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we are going to struggle against the Austrians and maybe dismantle them eventually. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.